Bro, look at that shit from here, bro. I gotta change that shit. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no point on doing that. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So, as you guys can see by the title, we picked up another project because, because the red GT is gone. So, after uploading the last video, and you guys have seen that I haven't uploaded anything else, because we ran a little bit into a problem, a little bit into, not a problem, a little bit of in, into an adventure to pick this car up. So, after I posted the last video, somebody reached out to me, gave me a good price on the GT, and I ended up selling it. The reason that I sold it was because, if you guys don't remember, I mentioned in a previous video, not the last one, that there was a black GT with Cobra bumper. It was Cobra out bumper, hood, uh, fenders, grill, everything was on it. Front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts in the hood. And the car had 70,000 miles. So I needed to move that GT, the red one, in order to get this one. Um, and the gentleman ended up selling it right before I sold mine. So. Mine stayed online for sale, they didn't even bother to take it off because as I always say, it's always good to elevate and get something better and get a better car. So I left it online, I just kept getting offers here and there and I said maybe, maybe I'll end up getting rid of it. But at the meantime, I, I still kept working on it. Somebody, somebody finally reached out to me, gave me a good price that I couldn't uh, say no to and it's pretty much gone. Now, the idea for this one that I picked up is to do a small mild restoration, clean it up fix whatever it needs to fix, clean up the engine bay, maybe do a few power mods here and there, and then move on to that one too, getting rid of it, making some profit, and then move on, moving on to the next one. Now, the whole concept and the whole idea is to eventually either get a Fox body in mint condition, which right now we know how expensive they're going, or a Terminator Cobra, which that is super expensive. But we'll keep buying, we'll keep flipping, we'll keep making profit, and eventually we will get there. Now this American muscle journey coming from the JDM scene has been nothing but great. The people have been amazing and I'm enjoying every step of the way. Why? Because there's a lot of history behind American muscle and there's a lot of vintage stuff which is something I love and always something I chase. Um, even from the apparels where you could pick up a NASCAR Dale Earnhardt uh, jacket from the 90s which is those are to me like pretty rare and pretty vintage stuff that kind of goes hand in hand with American muscle. You know, and we go back to Carol Shelby and everything they've been doing, it's great. The JDM scene was good. It was good for me for the past 25 years or 20 years that I've been dealing with it. Doesn't mean that I'm not going back into the JDM scene. Doesn't mean that I am not ever gonna get another JDM car, absolutely. But I wanted to get my hands on something else. I've explained this a lot, and this is the role we're taking out. So for all the new guys that are, welcome, that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel, thanks for the support. And let's get into it. I'm actually getting ready right now. We're gonna go to a small car meet, small car show, small American Muscle Car Show. And I'm actually talking to the gentleman now. We're texting back and forth in order to go pick this car up. It's a little bit of a drive. It's over at Davey. You guys will definitely see it. You guys will get a review. So let's get the video started. Let's get over to the little car show, little car meet. It's actually pretty close to ours here. I wanna go, wanna go over there with Danny and the CO6. And then if everything comes in and everything goes hand in hand, we will take a small little drive up to Davey and go pick this beautiful car up because this car is an original 80,000 mile car. Let's get the video started. Mm -hmm. There she is, boys. Bullet wheels. Looking really good. I gotta print out the Marty report. Would definitely like to see how many number yellow ones uh, came. And the interior is just mint. The interior is just mint on this car. I love it. Hertz extended shifter. Looks really, really good. All right, well, it's a 98 and it's got the 95 lights on. I have a brand new pair of 98s. Does anyone know what this is for? This came out from like here this whole black bag it's a spongy black bag and it's on the other side too came out from the quarter panel 
So I got the 98s here, freshly painted. We're gonna put those on right now. These 95s are ugly as hell. Well, this is the 98, which originally comes from the car. Like I was saying, the older gentleman got the 95s on there. I don't really know why, but um, body is so straight on this car. If you look at it, extremely straight. So I pretty much hand tightened. So what I'm gonna do home, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get home, remove the tail lights again, and then I'm gonna clean everything up. We were kind of hitting it with that little rag there. You can see how dirty all that was inside. So I'm gonna clean all that and all in between with uh, the super clean and it should come out really, really good. Looks pretty straight. Body looks very, very straight. All right, well, 98 lights are on. So the plan is to get this car as clean as we can, do a mild restoration and put it up for sale. And remember, we're always looking to elevate and eventually, hopefully one day, get a Terminator Cobra, really low miles. This car is very low miles. This car has 80,000 miles for being a 98. Drives amazing. You have no idea how well it drives. And it's just overall so good, man. So I went over to Danny's house. If you guys remember, Danny's the one that owns the C06 Corvette. I just went over to show him the car. They were pretty pleased with the car. You know, it's it's what we were saying. Uh, the paint job could definitely be better. And I think if I decide to paint this car, it's gonna come out real nice. And it's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me. So I rarely also get to use the GoPro in my head to do a point of view uh, shot of me driving it. So I'm just gonna stop talking here and let you guys enjoy this sweet V8 for a minute or so because I just love how these cars sound. This you can pick up those cables on auto parts. great for a 98 now the idol comes down now the idol's down yeah. 